Welcome back everyone to Showbiz India and with me right now I have filmmaker Raj Amit Kumar. Welcome to Showbiz India. It's good to see you. Thank you for having me. Now your film is on the brink of release. There's been a lot of talk about it. Tell me how are you feeling? Hmm. I mean it's on the brink of release so we'll, we'll find out. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm excited that I'm able to release the movie in the uh, US. Um, I am upset that I I'm not able to do that in India. The, the idea was to release at the same time in India on May 29th. So on one hand, I feel good about it. On the other hand, I'm very angry about it. It's obviously a very intense film and it's a controversial subject. Did you not anticipate that it would get some kind of, you know, friction in India? <coughs> oh, movie is made for friction. Uh, it's, it's not the question that I did not anticipate friction. Uh, I, I wanted to deal with a tough subject. Uh, and uh, the, you know that's that's the purpose of the film. It's it's a provocative film. But no, I did not anticipate that the film will be banned. So that's sad. I I did not anticipate that we as as Indians have gone that regressive, that we will start banning films. And and so um, no, that 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 was not the expectation at all. You have been sleeping for a very long time. Everything is set. They know nothing. Be safe and low-key. I'm scared. Papa, I'm gay. I don't want to get married. Lila, you agreed, didn't you? <laughs> did I have the choice? So when you first heard that your film was banned, what did you mm -hmm. feel? Anger. I mean, that's, that's the only emotion that you can feel uh, on something like this. And I, and I also felt that this is, this is important that we fight against it now. It's, it's very, very important. Uh, I mean, if we let authorities, censorship authorities in India just ask us to cut this and we keep accepting those kind of things and, 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 and when they ban us, we just, we just take it lying down, then um, I guess there is, there is no solution ever going to happen. So I think it's, it's very important for us as, as filmmakers to, to go out and, and fight against uh, these wrongdoings. Why was it banned? What was the reasoning given to you? The reasoning is uh, in most basic terms that um, Hindus and Muslims will go out on the street and start killing each other if this film goes out. The film ignite unnatural, baser passions. I don't know what that means. And after having said that, they also say the film has no message. So I don't know how that works. But um, but those are so. This is these are just absurd things, you know. I mean, nobody watch a film and go out and have riots, and you know. I mean, these are these are the nonsensical arguments that the moral authorities of the country will will come up with when they don't want certain discussions and conversations to happen. Now, when you were planning the film, tell me about <clears throat> the inspiration. Where did you get the inspiration for this film? Well, inspiration is you want to make a movie, right? I mean, that's. That, that has been inspiration for the subject matter. for so long in life. The subject matter is, I think we all as filmmakers want to work on, on things that are personal to us in many ways. Growing up, I've, I've seen in India re religious violence firsthand. I have had um, homosexual friends who have been sort of raped uh, into uh, heterosexuality, quote unquote, in India. So I, these are the, the issues that really, really bothered me, and and so I, I wanted to express that through through my work. We live in a world ruled by the American Wall Street. And the war is to fight against it. It is a war between right and wrong, between the powerful and the powerless. How has Allah gotten into this war? Muslims are not the enemy. The Osamas and Omars do not represent Muslims. This man is weak. We should not let him lie to our own people. We need to send a message to traitors around the world. Each character in your film is very distinct. Tell me, how did you develop their storyline and the characters? You know, when it comes to characters for me, it was important to, to construct archetypes on, on 
so the, because there are two stories one takes place in new york which deals with muslim identity one takes place in new delhi that deals with homosexual identity right. and it was it was important for me to create archetypes of these characters and parallel characters on both sides so <clears throat> every character that you see on the new delhi side you will see a parallel character to that in in a, in new york side and and uh, though in complete different geographies different political scenarios uh, um, and so, so that was the thought process to to deal with something that is that's beyond the the, the issue of Muslim identity or issue of homosexual identity. Uh, so, hence, you know, the, the, the characters were constructed like that. So, when you first saw the <coughs> film in its entirety on screen, how did you feel? I said I would not commit suicide. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've made a movie, and and uh, it's. Uh, I, I felt that uh, I am on right path, uh, and I, I felt more determined to keep making this kind of work. So, so your director's vision has been met? It has been met, and it has been strengthened, I, I would say so. Oh, good. Well, there's a lot of talk about this film. On freedom, where did you come up with this type? Well, look, the. Faiz Ahmed Faiz's poem, Ye Daag Daag Ujala, Ye Shav Gazeeda Seher, the English translation of that poem is Dawn of Unfreedom. And it was written at uh, eve of Indian independence when we, we were saying to ourselves that we have gotten free, but Hindus and Muslims were killing each other. Um, and so the, so the concept of unfreedom, sort of the birth is from there, but also in today's world, <clears throat> when, we, when we say we live in a very, very free world, but the, the freedom of choice is freedom of picking a Pepsi or a Coke. Uh, but there are all these different kinds of unfreedoms that we, that we face today. Uh, so I guess, you know, the, the, the title comes from there. Now tell us about how can we, how can <coughs> the audience get involved and perhaps do something to unban the film in India? Unban the film. That's, yeah. that's, that's a good way to put it. I think I just made up that word. Yeah, yeah, I know. I also <laughs> made up on freedom. Uh, no, actually, that's uh, that, that that's that's a philosophical word yeah. that that exists. Um, I think you know. I'll request everybody to go to unfreedommovie.com, the website, and on the home page you will see, you can click a button and it will ask you to sign a petition. So I think the the most important thing is we all should sort of come together and fight against censorship in India, because this is just wrong. It's unconstitutional, it's illegal, uh, <clears throat> and we cannot take basic human rights uh, of people. And this appeal I make not just to Indians. I think, you know, as a global society, we, we all need to understand if human rights are violated at one place, it's going to affect other places. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's, that's my request, that we all need to really, really get very angry about it. I think we have, we have become uh, sort of th there's this this kind of apathy in in the whole society where it doesn't really really matter anything you know just things keep happening of this nature and you know we don't care I think it's just just important that we all get angry about it and we all sort of get together in this fight it's just not about this film it's not about unfreedom movie it's about unfreedom movement it's about uh, freedom it's, of speech it's freedom of speech it's about LGBT rights it's about you know fighting against religious intolerance you know we, we, we cannot let these things uh, happen this is india every half hour a rape in india it's the choice we make when we are most cornered in life that defines who we are